Direct News TV September 28, 2023 Witness details Beachy Stout's complaints about wife's affair with cop, Jamaica. A policeman who was allegedly having an affair with the second wife of Portland businessman Everton, Beachy Stout, McDonald had reportedly posted a picture on Facebook of himself inside the businessman's bedroom. The policeman was also reportedly posting different pictures weekly on his Facebook page, which McDonald felt was disgracing him. But, when McDonald reportedly confronted his wife Tonia about the situation, she remained mum, the court heard. A former employee of the businessman made the revelation yesterday in the home circuit court as he continued his testimony in the murder trial of McDonald and his co-accused, Oscar Barnes. Both are charged in connection with Tonia's July 20, 2020 murder. Her partially burnt body was found with her throat slashed inside her car along a deserted road in Sherwood Forest in Portland. The witness, who claimed he was McDonald's right-hand man, testified that the businessman had often accused his wife of cheating with different men and had asked him one day, you did no say she have man way a police. But the man, who had worked as a packer and security guard at McDonald's supermarket, said he was clueless. The witness, however, recalled an occasion in 2020 when the businessman confronted his wife about the policeman and demanded that she delete her Facebook account. You need to to get rid of the Facebook page. You need to get rid of the Facebook account because it'll bring disgrace upon me. You na see the boy have it every week a put up a different picture and the boy have de mind a come threaten me, the witness remembered his ex-boss telling his wife. How him get pictures of me bedroom if you not carry him in a me bedroom, and a post it up on Facebook, the witness further recalled McDonald grilling his wife. The witness said Tonia had remained silent, but her husband told her, a dem ya careless life you wa live so the whole world see and a disgrace me name. McDonald also told his wife to end her friendship with a particular female and to change her phone number. Before that encounter, the witness said McDonald had complained to him that he was tired of his wife disgracing his name and that he was unable to walk with his head held high because of her. The witness testified that McDonald later showed himself and another worker several nude pictures of his wife on a computer at work. The witness claimed he was reluctant to look but was ordered to view the salacious pictures in which, he said, Tonia's private parts were exposed. Continuing, he said a fuming McDonald cursed that his wife was walking around and exposing herself like an animal. As they flipped through the pictures, the witness said he saw pictures of Tonia and the policeman, which were taken while he was naked in his bathroom and she was in the bath, as well as a picture of them out together drinking. A dem ya our hashtag at percent c sharp dollar dollar she wa go do and spend off me money mind policeman and him no wa her, adjust me money him wa, the witness recollected McDonald saying cursing. After flipping to more pictures, the witness said, McDonald continued cursing, saying, look ya a dem careless gal tings ya. The witness further testified that McDonald told him that he was going to shoot and kill the policeman but later informed him that he was going to disfigure his face with a corrosive substance. The witnesses said McDonald told him about the change in plans after complaining that the policeman had reported him for the threat. Me can't shoot him again so me a go get somebody deal with him face mech she and him live with each other when me done deal with her face too, the witness recalled McDonald saying. According to the witness, McDonald later sent to purchase two containers of a corrosive substance, and had even tested the substance on his left wrist. Meanwhile, the witness further testified that McDonald had kept a tight track of his wife's movements and had even indicated that he was going to have her followed. The witness said that, in July 2020, Tonia would often leave for Kingston, and her husband, who was concerned that she was leaving in the mornings and returning at nights, wanted to know what was detaining her there. The court also heard from the witness that MacDonald would often send him to check the banks in the parish to ensure she was there and, on one occasion, had sent him to Junction in St. Mary to search for her. The witness will resume his testimony today in the Home Circuit Court, before Justice Chester Stamp. My name is Kingsley.
Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to be notified whenever we post you won't regret it.